Save up to $50 at CrimsonTrace.com. Laser sighting systems from Crimson Trace will make you a more accurate and confident shooter. No personal protection firearm is fully equipped without a laser sighting system from Crimson Trace. Visit CrimsonTrace.com November 29th through December 25th and save up to $50 on the one tool no personal protection firearm should be without. A Crimson Trace laser sight. Save up to $50 now through Christmas Day at CrimsonTrace.com. I'm a gun owner. Your views, advice, and questions are the driving force of gun talk. You know, I don't think that guns are scary things. Visit us online at www.guntalk.com. Call Tom now at 866-TALK-GUN, 866-825-5486. Let us know what you think about the gun-related issues of the day. Now, back to Gun Talk. All right, 866-825-5486, or just dial one, Tom Talk Guns. You can shoot me an email, tom at guntalk.com. Over on Twitter, I am at Gun Talk, where we have a conversation going on even as we speak. Join us over there. Looking for your ideas. Actually, we've got two things going at the same time. Uh, one would be your suggestions for last-minute gift ideas for shooters, and two is your stories about getting a gun for Christmas. At what age, what gun was it? I'd uh, like to see or hear some of those stories. In the meantime, uh, we're pretty much over in lines, if you like to chat about pretty much anything that has to do with guns, give me a holler, 866-TALK-GUN. Uh, line two, Al has done exactly that, calling us out of uh, Pennsylvania. Hello, Al. Hi, how you doing, Tom? Hey, I'm I good. wanted to find out where you can get a 9mm Striker 1 uh, from Arsenal Arms. Oh, it's I called quite, like six it's, distributors it's, and no one had one. It's the Strike 1, not the Striker. Oh, strike one. Uh, called strike one. Um, I'm not even sure that they're in the country yet. Uh, they have announced them bringing them in. What is it about this pistol that uh, has you interested? I mean, we have so many good pistols out here that you can put your hands on. Why this one? Well, I like I like the idea that uh, as far as what I saw is the looked like everything was uh, straight and it was coming back back straight instead of at an angle. And I figured that'd be more accurate. And then uh, I like the idea that uh, the, the sight profile is lower, so you can acquire the sight easier. And I heard it was like a straight shooting gun, so that interested me. You're what you're doing is you're repeating the marketing copy that you've heard. Ah. Uh, all of the modern, the latest. So striker fired polymer guns have the features you're describing. The bore yeah. is low in the hand, uh, whether it's a Springfield Armory uh, XD, XDM, a Smith and Wesson uh, M and P. A, uh, I mean, just go on and on. Uh, you know, there, uh, there's a gun you may want to take a look at to see how similar it looks to the Strike One, and that is the Walther PPX has a great feel to it. Uh, I love the feel of the PPX, and then. Not enough people are talking about that gun right now, but I think they will. But honestly, you're describing a whole category of gun, the the Ruger SR9 uh, series. All of these, the bore is lower in your hand, or another way to say it is your hand is higher, closer to the bore, which is going to reduce muzzle rise and get you a straighter recoil back. Uh, and honestly, I look, I have a personal viewpoint which is I like to be aware of low serial numbers. I don't want to be the first one. I don't want to be the guinea pig on stuff, especially anything that could be a life-saving device. That's just me. So I kind of like when somebody said, we're going to be bringing in a gun from another country. I say, oh, good. You do guys do that. Next year, I'll take a look at it. And I, I want to see how it runs for a year and see what the reports are on it before I go bet my life on it, because that's what you're doing on a self-defense gun. You're betting your life on it. And look, you look at all the fabulous names we have out there, Colts, Smith & Wesson, Springfield Armory, Kimber, uh, I mean, just go on and on and on, fabulous guns out there, Ruger, obviously. We don't have to strain to find good guns these days. They are everywhere. So anyway, that, that would be my thought. I don't know that it's being brought into the country, and if it is, it's in very limited numbers at this point. So uh, that's all I know about that one. Let me quickly switch over, talk about, speaking of pistols, and uh, getting people started shooting pistols and young people. Uh, Scott Moore is a, a, an old buddy who has done a lot in terms of promoting shooting uh, competition for kids throughout the years. And he's joining us now to talk about a program that we really haven't talked much about. How you doing, Scott? Great, Tom. How are you, my friend? I am well. I mean, look, 
as far back as I've known you, it's a long time, you have been working with youth competition programs, and this sounds like a great one that you're working on right now. Great. Um, yes, uh, what we're talking about is the Scholastic Pistol Program. And that part of that name may sound familiar to your listeners, as we are part of the Scholastic Shooting Sports Foundation, which uh, the foundation was spun off of the National Shooting Sports Foundation. Mm-hmm. While I was there, we created the program that most of your listeners are familiar with, the Scholastic Play Target Program, right, which right. is now over 13 years old, and uh, it was developed to bring the youth of America into national competitions. Well, our newest program is the Scholastic Pistol Program, or SPP as we call it. And basically, SPP is is a youth team event. We're shooting both rimfire and centerfire pistols at a variety of steel target stages. We have four stages. Uh, the teams, which are made up of four-person squads, will shoot each stage. Um, and at the end of the event, their total times, like most steel events, their total times are compiled, and that team score is then uh, uh but against all the other teams and squads shooting, mm-hmm. so it's 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 a it's a great way, Tom, to bring our youth of America into the action pistol sports. And as you know, over the years, uh, getting our young adults or the parents of those young adults into the action shooting sports have always been an issue. And with help of of, uh, of the industry, um, both uh, the manufacturers as well as people like yourself, we we created this event, which, unlike our other action shooting sports, where we have pulling guns from holsters, running around shooting at, at the various uh, types of targets, mm-hmm. we are shooting from from a low ready position. Guns are always on the bench, and our targets are 10 inch and 12 inch rounds and 18 by 24. Um, uh, targets. So it's, okay, so it's we're shooting, we're shooting round, round steel targets. Okay. Uh, Scott, let me ask yep. you, if, so that people can understand, if you would address just briefly, kind of as a, almost like the prelude to this, the success of the Scholastic Clays program, so they understand what the idea is with the pistol program. Great, yeah. When we started the program, there was not a, a, a national program uh, for youth into traps Eaton Sporting Clays as, as, as a true national program. The first year in 2001, we had 700 young adults shooting trap. Uh, currently, we have um, over 10,000 young adults into the program shooting uh, not only trap, but skeet and sporting clays, and we've added the international sport as well, international trap and, uh, and international skeet. So we we have grown in those eleven years to where we have over ten thousand young adults shooting nationally for for college scholarships as well as prizes. So that that will give you an idea. We are the largest um, organization for youth shooting sports as far as uh, participation. And, and now the idea is let's get obviously young people have an interest in shooting handguns. Let's get them involved and give them a mechanism for getting started, but also improving and getting better. And, and frankly, uh, almost like a uh, an entryway to get into serious national competition in some of the other disciplines too. Correct, correct. We our our idea was to introduce them to the action shooting sports so that when they get comfortable with the idea of of speed shooting that when they wanted to join IDPA or International Defense Pistol Association uh NRA uh, action shooting and the other types of action shooting that it was a it was a easier entry into into those action sports now they're more comfortable with engaging targets at a much faster rate uh, to give you an idea, when we say faster rates, one of our stages, which we call Go Fast, has five targets like most skill type um, stages. We have young adults who have never handled a handgun or very limited can clear those five targets in under three seconds. And, and our young adults who have really practiced and worked hard and been in the program, we have some that are under two seconds in, in shooting five still targets. 
Good grief. Give me an idea when you say young adults. What ages are we talking here? Well, we have three divisions, Tom. We have a junior division, which is 12 to 16, a senior division, which is 17 to 20. Then we, we have a collegiate division, which uh, basically has no true age as long as you are a full-time student uh, in a post-secondary school. So, so we have young adults that are shooting not only the rimfire pistols, but some are shooting the, the centerfire pistols as, as well as young as 12. Uh, on these uh, still still plate. So what's involved? If somebody says, okay, uh, I'm a youngster, I want to get involved, or a parent says, hey, my, my kid loves to shoot, I'd like to get involved with this, what do they have to do? Well, first thing is obviously go to our website with the www.sssfonline.com and um, uh, go to the uh, SPP button, because we have two buttons, our Scholastic Play Target and our Scholastic Pistol, mm-hmm. and just drop in on that, and you'll you'll get our information. But on there, you'll see my contact information, um, which is uh, jsmore357 at yahoo.com. And if you don't find what you need on the website or you need a little extra help on, on understanding some of the issues on the website, just drop me an email. But the very, very simple sport, uh, we are using production guns. So mm-hmm. your listeners out there, we don't have to worry about uh, the parents getting into uh, a race gun situation where you have to go out and buy the latest and greatest uh, doodad to add to your gun. We're using stock pistols so that it's always a level playing field. Okay. The very easy sport, what you need are a stock pistol, some ammo, Ear and eye protection and a place to shoot that has has our target set. So it's it's as far as Easy. equipment wise, Tom, it's a very very economical sport. All right, and that website again is SSF uh, three S's SSFF. I can't do that. It's three S's and uh, no, it's hard. <laughs> Online <laughs> Right. So let me try it again. Sierra 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 Foxtrot Online dot com. That'll get you there. Correct. Now try to say that three times, Tom. I don't think so. Not today. <laughs> Scott, thank you for what you're doing. It's a great idea, great program, and uh, I wish you all the success, and uh, we look forward to being able to help you any way we can. Thank you so much, and uh, Merry Christmas to all your listeners, and hope the ones that are down here in the southeast survive these storms that we had last night. Boy, no kidding. Listen, you take care. Hey, this is a great program. You can get a youngster involved in that. And you know what? They need adult uh, volunteers as well. S S S F online.com all right 866 talk guns we'll get you in here talk to you in a second in the war on terror fighting crime in the streets in competition and homes around the world one name in firearms stands out sig sauer Our pistols and rifles are renowned for their unfailing performance. This same commitment to excellence can be found in our line of SIGTAC accessories and the training offered by the SIG Sauer Academy. For unmatched quality, reliability, and innovation when it counts, choose SIG Sauer. Visit SIGSauer.com today. From day's first light till night's last glimmer, Your satisfaction is our responsibility. On the range or in the field of duty, you can rely on Brownell's lifetime guaranteed gun parts, tools, and supplies anytime, anyplace. It's how we've done business since 1939. Brownell's. So you want to shoot clay targets? Maybe some skeet or trap? Sure, but ammo's hard to find. So load your own ammo, as generations have done, with Mech Reloaders. Save money and discover a fun hobby. It's simple, and you can customize loads for different kinds of shooting. Always have ammo on hand. Stock up when there's nothing in the stores. Get started now. Visit mechreloaders.com. That's mecreloaders.com. Are you looking for a place to shoot? The National Shooting Sports Foundation has a great website called wheretoshoot.org. It's the largest database of shooting ranges on the Internet. 
It's also a great resource for shooters where you can find video tips, printable targets, and a lot more. Find it online at wheretoshoot.org. And while you're there, download their free iPhone app. That's wheretoshoot.org. If you carry a gun, you need training. Your concealed carry class was definitely not training. But time, money, and obligations keep you from spending days at a shooting school. The trusted folks at Gun Talk can help. Concealed Carry One, our DVD featuring the Vada Group, covers what gun, what holster, how to carry, where to wear your gun, and much more. Visit ShopGunTalk.com. That's ShopGunTalk.com. Look, this really is life and death. Learn how to stay aware, how to get away, and how to fight if you must. At ShotGunTalk.com, you can get the two DVD set, including Fighting with the 1911 with Tiger McKee. No matter what gun you carry, this vital training info can save your life. Learn the draw, the stance, reloading, vital gear from Gun Talk. That's ShopGunTalk.com. ShopGunTalk.com. Successful hunters know big bucks move early and late, often when it's too dark for common scopes. When that monster steps out, you might see him through the scope, but the crosshairs disappear. All that work and you can't take the shot. But with the Trigicon AccuPoint scope, you'll get the shot. Its bright aiming point glows in daylight or darkness. No batteries needed. AccuPoint scopes are water resistant and nitrogen filled, feature multi-layer coated lenses for the brightest image, and you can adjust brightness of the aiming point to match the conditions. Adding 10 or 15 minutes to each end of the day can double the magic moments when the trophies move. You can't hit the target if you can't see the sights. Trigicon AccuPoint scopes. Check out the different models at Trigicon.com or call 1-800-338-0563. Brilliant aiming solutions from Trichicon. Want your opinion to make a difference? Log on to our website and take the Gun Talk poll. www.guntalk.com. Now, back to Tom. looking for ideas for last minute gifts for Christmas. Eh, maybe they get there by Christmas, maybe they don't. Uh, Brian shoots me a note. Thank you, Brian. He says, don't forget Shop Gun Talk. Yes, I do forget that sometimes. We have our very own website for that with a lot of neat stuff there. Uh, shopguntalk.com. Heck of a marketer I am, right? Forget to mention my own place. Uh, but we've got a lot of books and different things there. By the way, uh, a bunch of you have ordered the limited edition Grits on Guns. These are the ones that my dad wrote, uh, gosh, 25 years ago. Uh, dad died a number of years ago, but we had some of the limited editions copies that he signed. Leather cover, gold edges, you know, very nice limited editions. Normally 50 bucks, We got him for $15 off of that. Uh, I went out to the storage unit. We're, we're going to get rid of all of them, okay? We're just going to sell them all. Uh, and I th- we thought we had about 100 of them. I think we ended up with like maybe 160, something along those lines. Not a lot, okay? But we ended up with a couple more boxes that we thought. And we were going to stop the sale like tomorrow. and But we're just going to keep that same price on until they're all gone. So uh, if you order them tomorrow, I, I guess maybe you could do overnight. I don't know if the folks at the office can get them out to you. You may or may not get it for Christmas, but it's still pretty cool. It's limited edition. It is signed by Grits. There's not going to be any more of these, clearly, obviously. Uh, it is a great book, Grits on Guns. So if you go to shopguntalk.com, shopguntalk.com, you can see that. You can see our DVDs on concealed carry. I have two different DVDs there. It's a great combo pack and some other interesting little fun stuff there. We have uh, suggestions, uh, email coming in, uh, extra mags, absolutely. Here's one I had not thought of, and, and Steve suggests this and went, wow, that's a, such a cool idea. He gets, he has a rolling cart at the range he uses and carries things around in it. Uh, the one he shows is Office Depot. It's like a plastic, you know, those plastic box, looks like a milk crate almost, but it's folding, but it has a collapsible uh, handle and rollers on it. 20, 25 bucks. What a neat idea. You could put gun gear in there. You got to take all stuff from the car to the uh, shooting line. I just, that's a great idea. It's a 
Office Depot brand mobile folding cart with lid $24.99. I would not have thought of that. So, Steve, thank you for that. Great heads up. Uh, Line three, Mike is with us out of Idaho. Hey, Mike. Howdy. I'm yeah, good. Yeah. How you doing, man? Oh, so just what, what is this you're hearing? You're more. hearing the. Let me ask you. Let, let me jump in because we're uh, we're out of sync here. You're you're hearing the rumor about ammo makers making ammo that's going to go dead on you. Yeah, that's what my rumor says, and I hope it's not true. Well, you win on this one. It is not true. Um, the, here's where this comes from. It's like a lot of things. Somebody heard something, and then it's like that old parlor game where you tell a secret to somebody and they pass it along, and by the time it gets to the end, it's unrecognizable. There, in some non-toxic, lead-free ammo, the primers don't have the same shelf life as traditional primers. Uh, And that's just because regular primers have a lead compound in them, lead stiffenate. And they last essentially forever. Uh, The non-toxic, non-lead loads don't last as long. Now, I don't know how long that is. It may be 15, 20, 25 years. It's not like short shelf life. As far as regular ammo, absolutely not. Not happening. Not going to happen. I don't hear anybody talking about it. I don't hear anybody looking into it. It's just not there. And while it is good for us to be paranoid about a lot of things, this is one we can take off our list. It's not an issue, okay? All right. Appreciate it, Mike. Uh, Let's see. Uh, Tell you what. Mike, uh, we've got another Mike. I'm not going to be able to get to you right now. I'll pick you up on the backside of this commercial break, okay? Uh, Because I do want to talk about the Sprinkler Armory XD45. What a wonderful, cool pistol. Man, that's a neat gun. We'll talk a little bit about that. Also looking for your suggestions on... uh, what would you like to see in your stocking or maybe under the tree? Somebody could still run out and get that for you if you told it exactly what to get. Uh, also, uh, speed loaders, universal mag loaders. The, the, the guys in the studio are saying, hey, here's some ideas. Speed loaders, universal magazine loaders, plastic storage boxes. Yes. Maybe even a complete reloading kit. Yeah. You know, you, you could buy a whole kit that has everything you need and good to go. And all of a sudden, man. One day you don't know anything about reloading, and the next day you are one. Also, I've got some ideas for books you could get, and one that may surprise you, where um, you could become really smart reading this. One of Talker Magazine's 100 most important radio talk show hosts in America. You're listening to Gun Talk, heard every week at this time on great radio stations across America. Stay tuned. Gun Talk is coming right back. Covering all aspects of gun ownership every week on this fine radio station. You're listening to Gun Talk with Tom Gresham. All right, it is the season to be ballistically <laughs> efficient, I guess. We're, uh, we're talking about buying things for shooters on your list, or gifts, but also maybe for yourself as well. A lot of great ideas coming in uh, through email and on Twitter and with the calls, of course. 866-TALK-GUN will get you in here for the calls. Um, we were talking about magazine speed loaders, that type of thing. The one that's come up several times, people have said, hey, just how about ammo? Well, yeah, of course, if you... You know what kind of ammo somebody needs or wants. Absolutely. If you could find them a brick of twenty two, you'd be a hero for sure. I'd give them some ammo. Uh, one one that came in. Well, I'll tell you what. Let me get to that in just a second here because I, I'm going to need a little bit of room to talk about that one. Uh, one that I had an idea is um, there's a book out there that it's going to sound bizarre, but if you get it, you will read the heck out of it. It's called Cartridges of the World. And it is a, and it comes out every few years, and it's updated. You grab that thing, and you start flipping through it, and you're reading about these various cartridges. And they've got like a different page on different each cartridge. And some are old and out of you know production, and some are, are new, but you find out the history of what went into them. And as you read it, you just get more and more involved. And, in, yeah, there you go. Cartridges of the World Unite. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, it's a great book. It's a wonderful read, and it's one you can just pick up and you can read it for 60 seconds, you can put it down. Or you can pick it up and read it for 30 minutes, whatever. But 
it, it's the format of the Gun Digest, the large format book. Uh, but if you want to treat yourself or somebody on your list, uh, grab a copy of Cartridges of the World. I guarantee you, you will like it, and so will whoever you're giving it to. Let's see, line two, Mike is with us in Reno, Nevada. I want to talk about a Springfield Armory pistol. Hey, Mike. Hey, good day there, Tom. How are you? I'm good. This is great. Yeah, me and my son's got very little discrepancies here. He's a Glock fanatic, and uh, I've always been large, large bore caliber handguns. I have a Ruger 44 Mag Super Blackhawk, 10 amp inch barrel. I got a Ruger 45 long, and a Ruger 57 Magnum Security 6. I'm looking for a semi auto, and I've mm-hmm. always loved Springfield. Okay. And uh, I heard there's been discrepancies uh, on recalls and the grip safety. I don't know, but I'm still looking at a Glock, uh, the. Springfield XD45, and uh, I'd like to I, know your information on it. Well, look, what, what you're talking about, and this is what happens. People say, well, what about the Springfield? What about the Glock? What about the MMP? What about, they're all really, really good. I happen to really like the Springfield XDs and the XDMs. Uh, I also like the MMPs and the 45s. They are... Um, let me ask you, do you want a pistol with a thumb safety or no thumb safety? It doesn't bother me. I, I, so I was in the military and we, saw, uh, we shot uh, 1911s all the time. Thumb safeties don't bother me. They feel okay. great. I'm used to them. All right, because you can get that you know, on the uh, XDM and the uh, Springfield. Uh, you can get a model that has the external thumb safety if you want it. A lot of people don't want it. I guess here's what I would say to you. is uh, Well, first of all, let me ask you a question. Have you handled or shot? the Springfield uh, 45. No, I'm going to go, after Christmas, I'm going to go down to our indoor shooting range and uh, really get into it. Because one okay. thing that admires okay. me about it and everything, is I've got large hands and it fits my hands like I was born with it. Okay, well, that's where I was heading. I was going to say, look, put your hands on it and that will tell you. I mean, and literally, it tells you in just a few seconds, you go, it's nice, but it doesn't feel great. Or you pick it up, you go, oh, man, that is perfect for my hands. That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, my father taught me that when I was young and everything. Find one because we both had large hands, and find one that fits your hands. And when when I do go into a gun shop, first thing I do is I get a variety of different handguns on there, and I close my eyes. And the one that fits me the best is the Springfield XD. Yeah, I hear you. All right, well, uh, go shoot it, but I think you're going to end up behind yourself a Springfield. It's a nice gun. Appreciate the call. Art is in Nevada on one. Hey, Art, how you doing? I'm doing good, Tom. How about you? Good. So uh, what's this email you got? Okay, I have a question. Does the president have the authority through executive order to dictate the rules on ammunition production? No. Okay, the email was soliciting money to fight that issue because they said that Obama is going to issue a a green order on all ammunition, and all ammunition will have to be green by 2018, whatever green means. Who was the email from? I'd rather not say. No, tell me. I want to know who's sending this out. Um, I got it from the Tea Party. Okay. Uh, It is a way to scare you to give them money, period. Okay. Okay. It's not true. It's not happening. It's not going to happen. But, boy, and look, it's not just the Tea Party. There are other groups that do the exact same thing. And some groups that I support out there, uh, some of the gun rights groups do the same thing. This one, put it aside, it's not going to happen. And yeah, look, and people say, well, he does things he doesn't have the authority to do now. Yes, that's most certainly true. Uh, at the same time, I don't think this goes anywhere. And as far as the ammo going dead or having a, a limited shelf life, no, uh, not happening. Just just, just not there. Okay, so we can at least forget that one. So I appreciate that. One suggestion that we had for a, a gift, i got to tell you a quick story, was uh, a cop, get, get somebody a copy of a book titled It's a Daisy by Cass Huff. It's a great little book, all the story about the Daisy uh, Air Gun Company and the heritage and all that. But let me tell you a little story about Cass Huff. Cass was uh, a top pilot. He was actually a test pilot. He probably, almost certainly, broke the sound barrier before Chuck Yeager did but they were doing it in dives as a test pilot and not in level flight. Um, Here's the story, though. Cass was flying out of Arkansas, where Daisy is, and he 
he went to the airport and there was this old airport dog a lot of airports small airports have these dogs running around and nobody knows who it belongs to and people would put out food and the food would get eaten but nobody could get close to this dog i mean he was wild as he could be so one evening Cass came in flew in his plane and got out and went and got in his car and then remembered something he had to get out of his plane he went back to his plane but left the door open to his car Went and got it, whatever he needed to get out of his plane, came back. And the airport dog is sitting in the passenger side of his car, just sitting there. He said, well, okay. So he gets in his car and he drives home. The dog just sits there, goes home. And when he gets home, he's told that Cass's pet dog, his favorite dog at home, has died while he was away on the trip. True story. Absolutely true story. Uh, when we come back, we'll talk with Mark. We'll take your calls, 866-TALK-GUNS. Be right back with more Gun Talk. Save up to $50 at CrimsonTrace.com. Laser sighting systems from Crimson Trace will make you a more accurate and confident shooter. No personal protection firearm is fully equipped without a laser sighting system from Crimson Trace. Visit CrimsonTrace.com November 29th through December 25th and save up to $50 on the one tool no personal protection firearm should be without. A Crimson Trace laser sight. Save up to $50 now through Christmas Day at CrimsonTrace.com. The XDM 3.8 Compact from Springfield Armory is two guns in one. Use as your concealed carry gun with a compact magazine and use the extended magazine for home defense. Carry 13 rounds of 9mm in the compact magazine and a whopping 19 rounds in the extended magazine. To see the entire family of Springfield Armory XDM pistols, go to SpringfieldArmory.com. That's SpringfieldArmory.com. Looking for shooting instruction but don't know where to go? Well, we have it, and you can access hours of training and safety videos, which you can watch on your home computer. On GunTalkTV.com, we have top competitive shooters, the best in self-defense trainers, and folks who have hunted all over the world, helping you learn which gun to buy, how to use it, how to store it safely, and everything else you need to be a safe and competent shooter. We also have gun makers showing off their newest rifles, shotguns, and handguns. Doesn't matter if you're a veteran shooter or a complete beginner. You'll find what you need at GunTalkTV.com. You can check it out for free, and you can get full access for only $5.95 a month. That gives you unlimited access to hundreds of videos, and we're adding more all the time. Run the videos over and over to make sure you understand what's being said. Skip around. You're in control. Get smarter, shoot better. Visit GunTalkTV.com. No matter what gun you have, you want it to hit harder, shoot faster and flatter, and be more accurate. You get all that with the ammunition from Double Tap. Double Tap's experts select the best bullets, then load them to higher velocities while keeping safe pressures. Shoot small groups. Shoot farther. Use custom hunting loads in your handgun or rifle. Even fire two projectiles with one shot. DoubleTapAmmo.com. That's DoubleTapAmmo.com. If you're looking for a safe and trusted way to sell your firearms, look no further than Dury's Gun Shop. I trusted them to sell my dad's collection. They built their business for over 50 years on honesty and customer service. Dury's Guns will buy any size collection or estate, none too big or too small. Selling your firearms to Dury's Guns is easy. Go with the pros. I trust Dury's Guns. Dury'sGuns.com The Ruger LC380 is the perfect pairing of the award-winning LC9 pistol and the popular 380 auto cartridge. The LC380 is the same size as the LC9, yet offers reduced recoil, making it Ruger's lightest recoiling personal protection pistol yet. It features a dovetailed high-visibility three-dot sight system, seven-round magazine and finger grip extension floor plate, manual safety, and loaded chamber indicator. The Ruger LC380, another rugged, reliable firearm from Ruger.
Questions? Comments? Please email Tom at GunTalk.com. During the show, you can call Tom at 866-TOM-TALK-GUN. Now, back to Gun Talk. 866-TALK-GUN will get you in here. We're talking about, uh, well, recommendation, recommendations <laughs> for gifts. We've still got a couple of days. You can do a little shopping locally at the very least. You also, you can run over to gun, uh, shopguntalk.com. That's shopguntalk.com. Uh, you can uh, grab something there. We might be able to get it out tomorrow and shoot it overnight if you want to pay for the FedEx shipping on that. But uh, check the site. It'll tell you whether or not we can do that. And as I mentioned, we're also are, are getting rid of the last of the Grits on Guns limited editions, leather bound. They're just they're cool books signed by uh, Grits himself. So that's a pretty neat thing. We've actually it's been fun. We have gotten a lot of interesting stories from people who said, you know, I remember your dad, and then off we go. So uh, I've had several people buy three or four copies of this to give to members of their families. So as I say, when they're gone, they're gone. I don't know what we have left. Maybe. I don't know, maybe 100, maybe fewer than that at this point. But uh, they'll probably be gone in the next uh, week or two. But, you know, they'll be up on the website. And look, when they disappear from the website, that's when you'll know that they're gone. That's just the way we're going to have to do it. Let's see here. Um, Mark is on line three out of New London, New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Hey, Mark. Good afternoon. I have a Glock 27, which I really enjoy. But I would like to hear your suggestions for a 22 caliber, which would be very similar to that handgun, just for plinking and practice. Hmm. <laughs> Do you just want it to feel kind of like that? Uh, I would like some of the same. I wish Glock made a 22 caliber, basically, but they mm-hmm. don't. So what you suggestions know? might you have for something along similar lines? And I've looked at mm-hmm. some of the six hours. I've never picked one up and handled it, but I've looked at them. And you know, you, you want, you know, I'm thinking about one you might like. It's kind of similar. It has a real good feel to it. Uh, Ruger has an SR-22 pistol, and yeah. it feels really good. Uh, and it is kind of Glockish. You know, if you squint your eyes just right, <laughs> you could say it's a Glockish in style. But I think it might work for you. I'll, I'll tell you the thing that impressed me about the pistol is 22 pistols are notorious for being finicky in the ammo that they will shoot reliably. This one, so far, fingers crossed and knock on wood, uh, so far has shot everything we have fed it. And so I like that. And I love shooting 22 semi-autos, but a lot of times you'll have to kind of find out what type of ammo a particular pistol likes. And then that you just stick with that one. So, I don't know. I, I think you might want to take a look at that. I will. All right. Appreciate it, Mark. I, I wish you luck with that. Uh, let's see, talk to Shirley on line two. Shirley is in Nevada. Hey, Shirley. Uh, hello. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I wanted to uh, recommend a book entitled American Gun by Chris Kyle. Ah, yes. Uh, this was the book that was published after his death, I believe. Correct. And uh, it's an excellent book. Every chapter uh, can be read independently, and uh, it's a history that um, is pleasant to read, enjoyable to read. Great idea. American Gun, A History of the U.S. in Ten Firearms. Uh, published this year by Chris Kyle, K-Y-L-E, and you can pick that up on Amazon or bookstores or wherever. It may even maybe even in some uh, gun stores out there. Uh, Shirley, how did you how did you end up with that book? Um, it it was it is uh, at the local library, and is one of the uh, new books that the library has put on its shelf, and uh, it looked very interesting. I'm interested in American history Mm -hmm. and guns in kind of general, Uh, and um, I was happy to see it uh, in my local public library. That is a wonderful suggestion. Thank you so much for for offering that, and thank you so much for your call. That is a a great idea, Uh, Chris Kyle's book. Uh, I just had a suggestion on Twitter. Guy says, how about give somebody a gift certificate for yourself? That is, when they go shooting, you will clean their guns for them. 
I love it. Doesn't cost you a dime. It's absolutely free. You can just make up a little certificate, give it to them, and say, I'll clean your guns after your next shooting session. Now, that's a unique and thoughtful gift. So what's on your list? Gun Talk stands for safety, personal responsibility, and common courtesy. To be a part of the show, call 1-TOM-TALK-GUN. Gun Talk will be right back. You know, uh, I know you heard the story about uh, the New Jersey couple the carjacking where the carjacker shot and killed the man in front of his wife, uh, carjacking the Land Rover, an upscale SUV. There was another carjacking in another part of the country, roughly the same time, which did not end up the same way. Um, well, it was pretty simple. Uh, <laughs> in New Jersey... You're not going to be carrying a gun for self-defense, basically. I mean, that's that's really what it amounts to. In, in New Jersey, you really only get to carry a gun if you know the right people. If maybe you know Chris Christie or you know a police chief or you know somebody who's going to be able to, to, to do the right thing for you. Well, there's another carjacking. Um, let's see. Where was this? Just a second, make sure. Um, New Hampshire. Guy tried to carjack a, a car, and the problem is the driver of the car had a pistol, pulled it out, pointed it at the guy, and stopped him and basically held him for the cops right there. No one got shot. The good guy had a gun, and no one got shot. So as you head toward 2014, Let me throw this thought out for you. What is your commitment to taking care of yourself and your family? What are you going to be doing? And I I, I do this before Christmas because I kind of would like for people to think a little bit about almost as a, a Christmas gift for themselves, a Christmas gift for their family, whether it is in getting the right tools, which is firearm or holsters, belts, whatever, lights, good tactical flashlights, which, by the way, for the people on your list, run out to your uh, local gun store and buy them a good tactical flashlight, anywhere from 50 to 100 bucks for these nice little uh, flashlights that use CR-123 batteries. Everybody will love those things. But in terms of your commitment going forward, Maybe taking a class somewhere, a gun site, a Thunder Ranch, uh, maybe taking local classes. Maybe saying, okay, you know, I have been meaning to get that concealed carry permit, but I've, I've just been busy. I haven't done it. And maybe saying, okay, this is the year for me. Perhaps if you are a mother and you've been thinking about it, look, mothers are busy. They're incredibly busy people. And you think, I really need to do something. And you say, you know, why would I not do this for my children? How else would I take care of them? If I'm in my car and I've got my kids in my car and somebody tries to carjack the car, and and this happens. They pull you out, punch you out, throw you on the ground, and drive off with your kids in the car. Where's your commitment? Well, I've got a cell phone. Fabulous. That's going to do a lot. All the cell phone does is calls the call people who fill out the forms. And that's not to make light of what police do. But what you, and, and yeah, they're going to try to find them. They're going to work hard at it. They're diligent and they care. But wouldn't it be better if you just prevented it from happening in the first place? So my question to you is, as you go forward, what is your commitment to protecting yourself, to protecting your family? Maybe it's just... I'm going to shoot more. I don't shoot enough. None of us do. Uh, Maybe you're thinking, I'm going to get my son and daughter involved. I'm going to teach my youngsters, my young, uh, young adult children to shoot. 
I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I would love to get your thoughts on that. 866-TALK-GUN will get you in. 866-TALK-GUN. Firearms, ammunition, recreational and competitive shooting, training, hunting, and yes, even politics. You're listening to Gun Talk. Call us now at 1-866-825-5486. That's 1-TOM-TALK-GUN. Or reach out to us via email at tom at guntalk.com.